Hi, Corey. So this is going to be a <clears throat> channel message. So, hold on, y'all. I got to find it. But anyways, um, if you guys do want to book a personal reading, I have opened them back up full time now. So whenever you guys want to book a personal, the link is down below. Um, it's first come, first serve, and they are same day readings. So, y'all, i just been having so many different channel messages. I'm trying to fucking keep up. Lord Jesus. Um, so, hold on, y'all. Okay, so there is somebody here, Aquarius, and also, y'all, I'm looking real natural and dry right now, so we just gonna keep it like this. <laughs> so it's going on right now. There is somebody who's trying to copy it, copy you, or use like your likeness or your ideas to please like a crowd or community of people. Okay, I'm gonna pull some index cards on this reading for you, Aquarius. I'm gonna pull four, and then <laughs> the second card was decoy. That is just so funny to me. I told y'all my car is beyond point, okay? Drama at the workplace. This could be somebody you work with. Either this is somebody, for some of you guys, it's somebody you work with. For other of you, this is somebody here who uh, is trying to be a decoy of you to get this love Jones love from somebody. Like, I feel like people are jonesing for you. If you've ever seen Coraline, they'd be like, hey, Jonesy, look what I found out. You know, if you've ever seen the movie Coraline it's so funny at the bottom of the deck there is a seven of swords big confirmation energy don't look at my nail y'all I popped it off at work on um, the other day <laughs> uh, uh so I'm not even gonna use this deck I'm gonna use my good old ye old gold deck <laughs> so what's going on there is somebody who is trying to impress a community or a group of people like trying to be a crowd pleaser but using your energy your likeness your moves your sayings you know your slang okay um, but the thing is that people have caught on to this person's previous attempts in trying to impersonate you or steal your ideas, personality ideas. I said ideas twice, so that could be very significant. Okay. Um, ideas could include like what you're going to do, how you're going to do something, how you're going to implement something. Could even be like related to like money or to, I'm getting work smarter, not harder. This can be like hairdos or like certain signature shit that motherfuckers know like, oh, you got that from Ashley. Or you got that from Aquarius. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but whoever this person is, they're inspired by you. But they hold a, a lot of resentment towards you. Like, okay, um, who pissed in your Cheerios? Maybe you had cereal this morning. Or maybe this person eats cereal dry or they eat a lot of cereal. Okay, but yeah, whoever this person is, they could be like a cereal impersonator. Like a cereal decoy when it comes to you. Like, go, tell them to go get a job in Las Vegas, Aquarius. Like... But this person is just resentment towards you. And then also they have a lot of unsolved wounds and things that happen in their adolescence or just happened to them in their life, period. And this person just really holds resentment. Like, um, I don't know why I just heard. Is little Miss Skinny Bitch going to be there? So if you are somebody who's skinny, you know how Respiration was saying, like, oh, little Miss Skinny Bitch. You don't have to be skinny, but you just may be smaller than this person, whether it's height or weight-wise. For us of you, you just may, like, the shit that you can't buy is the reason why this motherfucker resents you. That's going to be, like, your looks, the way you walk, the way you talk. Um, Like I said all those other things they want to copy and steal from you or you know just your vibe your, your zodiac placements all you know different things like that and we're going to split this up so let's do the work side first and let's do the love side second okay stick around for both if you on the work side comment a blue heart if you want a love side comment a pink or a red heart um, i would greatly appreciate it also like this video you're not even trying to shut up in your girl but what's going on if we're talking about work Okay, so drama at the workplace. There could be, like, a lot of drama going on at the at your workplace. And the only reason why this drama is going on is specifically because the motherfucker who's trying to copy you or be like you and shit like that. This is somebody here who, like, literally, they really just mad. This came out of verse. Yeah, Empress Carter verse. This is somebody who wants to be an empress or an empress so bad. And it's like, you're not. You're not an it girl. You're not an it guy. You're not that nigga. You're not him. You're not him a thief. Um, I don't really know who you think you are. Who do you think you are? Like that song? Tell me who do you think you are? Like who this person think they is? And what's going on is like this is somebody who tries to ride your coattail or they are like like you're not somebody's guilty by association, but like they try to stay associated with you because they give off a bad energy, they got a bad rap or just bad, bad, bad. Like that song by Young Thug. This person just got bad vibes. Yeah. Capricorn energy. That was a card. So we got Libra, Aries, and Capricorn on the board. They don't have to be these signs. This is what I got. Um, But yeah. Like I said, Capricorn energy. This person is literally guilty by association. Like, this person tries to be associated with you or bound, bound to you or be in your energy simply because people could be like at work. They like you. They like your energy. They like your upbeat spirit. You know, maybe you have recently got like a current congratulations from type of 
um, pat on the back or you're really cool with your boss or your manager or, you know, you really just, you, you do your job really good and you go the fuck home. Yeah, nine of swords. This person is mad because they don't get the same recognition as you as work. They don't get congrats. People just overlook them. People don't want to be bothered by them. Or they could have, like, a very miserable, nasty, distasteful energy. Also, nine of swords. This person could have, like, a lot of things going on in their life. And they bring that negative energy to work. Or this is all they talk about. But as you guys, nine of swords, this person may sit up and, like, if you have them on social media somehow, some way. Or the person may sit up and, like, look you up on social media or watch your page or look at your pictures. Or I'm getting, for some of you guys, they literally spent a lot of time looking at you. Your social media, what you like, what you don't like, or like just analyzing you, nine of swords. Like you, you run free in this motherfucker's head. Like Cardi B said, I got condos in this bitch head. I love Cardi B. She got Aries moon. I got Aries moon. Yeah, we'll be on the same type of time. I'm not hearing that. Anyways, with the nine of swords energy, like I was saying, um, this is somebody here who like they, I don't know if they hate themselves, they hate their life, or they hate the fact that they can't be a star or be an empress or something like that. Yeah, with the four of wands, there could be something going on in this person's home or, like, regarding relationships they have with either the same sex or the opposite sex. And I feel like there's always a situation or, like, they do this to motherfuckers who, like, this is somebody here who, like, maybe they talk shit about people who they want to be like. Or people who have certain qualities or things that they don't have and talk shit about them. And they talk shit about you, too. But they keep on a, a, a friendly face or a brave face. Yeah, I just feel like six of swords, you could be on your own pathway. I'm getting this, this boat ain't big enough for you and them. This person want to ride your wave. Okay, this person always wants to be in your energy, be on the same path or same type of time that you're on or beat you to that. And I honestly feel like you don't, you, either, either you fuck with them and you keep it cool and, or you don't fuck with them. You know, it's, it's it's either or. And I feel like the Knight of Cups energy, this is somebody here who like every time they offer you something and they come back to tell you something, whether it be like gossip, drama, information, something you need to know, help you, whatever it is at work. This is a motherfucker who only do this to to remain close to you. I'm getting like every time you distance yourself or your energy, this person somehow is like sends out the dove of communication or, you know, an olive branch to kind of make sure that you don't get too far from them to where they can't keep your, their eye on you or they can't copy you or they can't have access towards you or something like that. Like, it's weird. Like, yeah, tower card. Also, this person could be going through a tower moment or they may actually try to trick you very, very soon. Either they've already tried to cause you a tower moment or they're, it's like, if they go through shit, you got to go through shit. If they have something going on, they want you to, to somehow be involved in that chaotic ass shit. Yeah, Knight of Swords. And I feel like this could be regarding a manifestation, a foundation, or a relationship, or somebody that they're cool with, not cool with, whatever it is. But Eight of Cups, okay? With the Emperor card, you are divine. You could just be in your masculine energy when you're around them. But what's going on with the Eight of Cups? You're being told to turn your back on this person. Or maybe this person tries to act like they turned their trigger back on you or whatever the fuck it was. But I'm getting four of cups. It's because they went through a tower moment. And maybe you've seen the tower moment where you've seen them for who they was. And now with the two of swords here, you can't unsee what you saw when it comes to them, their behavior, or how they act, or whatever they get themselves involved in. And I feel like with the two of swords energy, this is somebody here who, like, they thought you was blindfolded. They thought that you was only worried about peace and harmony. Or they thought that they could, like, fool you or do this right, right in your face and you wouldn't even pay attention um to them doing the, the likeness or whatever the fuck it was um yeah but this person is really just mad like this is somebody who literally wants to be you yeah queen of swords two of cups queen of pentacles this person could be an earth sign a capricorn a virgo a taurus it could be a scorpio okay um this could also be a a libra or an aries or capricorn heavy earth sign energy here we don't got that much of any other sign but earth yeah I don't know. I just feel like this is definitely another female. Okay, this is definitely another female. Someone who's in their feminine energy, two of cups, who acts like they fuck with you, or they like you, or they support you, or whatever it is, and they don't. Yeah, page of pentacles, six of pentacles. They want to ration out what they do and what they say or their energy. But they think that you're a student, or they think that you're like a peon, or they think that seven of swords, six of pentacles, if they make shit right with you, you won't be able to see their deceptive ass energy of them copying you, or them trying to be like you, or like you won't confront them, or you won't see the conflicting energy in their auric field, the moon card, you won't see their deceptive energy, or their deceptive ups and downs when it comes towards you, or your energy, or the way that they act, but queen of cups, there could be a third party here, whoever this queen of cups energy is, let's, let's pull this queen of cups, uh, and there can also be a male figure who's a king of wands, yeah, and it's a king of swords. So there's a couple people at your workplace who um, either have heard about this, know about this, or I'm getting eight of swords. They know that this person is on some weird shit. Yeah, three of wands, they probably have turned their back on this person and they don't want to deal with them either. Six of pentacles, three of pentacles, like I said, they only deal with them because they work together, but they really don't fuck with this person. 
but like I said, everybody else knows this person is being a copycat of you. And I saw you could be flattered or like, um, there could even be like a boss or a manager or somebody who says something to you regarding this person. And you're kind of like, huh? Or what? Or like, there could also be like people who you don't fuck with, who you be beefing with or have issues with. And this person always be talking shit about you to them. And like, you know, this person talks shit about them to you. And you guys both could be like, you know what? This person is the problem. Even though if y'all don't really like each other, y'all don't see eye to eye, y'all can both still be saying this person is the problem. This person is the issue. This person this, this person that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Eight of Pentacles, it's, it's being advised that if you're, this is happening in a work situation, you just need to make sure that you're crossing your teeth, dying your eyes, more importantly, just getting paid, just working. That Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, because you're going to get your awards, you're going to get your congrats, recognition, all that stuff anyways, because that's just who you are. But with the Three of Wands, you're being told to just, you know, look forward, don't look back. Um, Look for your ships or for, like, truth, clarity, and... um congratulations awards nominations or good things happening for you at your job um but with the moon card and the world card all this weird ass shady ass behavior that this person has going with the devil card two of pentacles it's getting harder and harder for them to fake the funk or fake like they fuck with you they're going to cross themselves out they want to stress you out but in fact they're going to stress themselves out and going to over um overheat and going to exhaustion because of the page of swords and the chariot card i feel like you victoriously move forward every move you make this person's just stalking you not a cuss because they want your manifestation or um getting you know Four pentacles because they don't have any but um that's what's going on at your workplace but like i said somebody may even come back and tell you this person's doing this and it's so funny me with the workplace vibe this shit got my stomach hurting like a motherfucker like it literally just happened i don't know what that is about but my stomach literally just started hurting like ew like nasty nasty vibe nasty energy let's pull some purple cards but yeah like i said whoever this person is at your workplace spirit of the air first card out Clarity, awareness, and truth. That's just, it is what it is. Like, I'm hearing that song, Ain't I, Ain't I, Ain't I. So you know that song from back in the day. From back in the day. I think that was like Jeezy era. But yeah, Spirit of the Castle here. This is somebody who literally, um, they want to get you like imprisoned. Or like this person, when they go home, or like whatever energy they're in, they're just imprisoned. Or they're a victim of their circumstances. A victim of their house. So this is somebody here who like, um... The only reason why they're doing this because it distracts them from the like the sorrow or the bad energy they have going on in their life. Okay, and I feel like what's going on with the spirit of the Christ card. This person sees your energy. They see your light. They see that you're very um, loving, caring. And like, you know, if you ever find out about this or if you ever confront them or whatever's happening, worse come to worse, the person will want you to forgive them or reconcile with you. Even And even if you don't know or like even if you can tell like when they act shady and then when they don't act shady, they come in a different energy. It's because they want you to forgive them or they want you to reconcile with them because they want un complete access to you, your personality, your ideas, uh, your conversation, your... um unconditional love and i feel like with spirit of the travel you could also be um traveling or relocating getting a new job or moving up in positions or maybe you recently did and they had a fit about that or you will be soon okay so just you know keep it cool or maybe this person might be moving out of your way like somehow they may end up getting fired or something like that be a spirit of the angel i feel like what's going on the guidance that you've been wanting the prayers that you wanted to be answered and the blessing that you've been wanting they are there and it's going to keep shocking this motherfucker spirit of the lightning because you know aquarius we control the weather it says power strength and expression like i said this motherfucker going every time something happened to you <gasps> they be they be shitting bricks so keep letting them shit bricks because this person here this is somebody who's they've always been in the revengeful energy well not always i'm gonna say recently last three to six months this person's been in a very despair filled or revenge filled energy and you know this person wants to make you the elephant in the room but like the thing is that this person's bad news they want to be a leader so bad but you're the real divine feminine they're the one who's in their ego this person could have this person could be a leo as well but this is just what's going on right here. Kind of, you know, your sports team is saying, let this shit play out because we going to handle it. We going to handle it. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. Like I said, spread the gargoyle. You intimidate this person, okay? You are protected, okay? Or this person may even try to intimidate you, but it's kind of like, oh, okay, so what? So what? They just they just hate that you can turn with your energy or anything they throw at you or anything that's like weird as fuck. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get into the love side. So for some of you guys here... There is somebody who is trying to be like a decoy of you. And it's so funny Love Jones came out because this is like my favorite, 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 favorite black love movie. Okay? Black favorite. 
And when I say favorite, I mean favorite. The number 144 could be a significance for this pile of you guys. But what's going on? The person who is, like, trying to be on some decoy shit. This is somebody who's trying to, like, copy your mannerisms, your looks, your hair, how you love. They try to see your love language or how do you love. Like, me personally, I have a Capricorn Venus. So, when I like a motherfucker, I buy them shit. What a motherfucker like me, they buy me shit. And, <laughs> and like... You know, this person does not have the same Venus sign as you, the moon sign. Or like, they don't have the same placements as you. But this is somebody who literally wants to copy everything that you're doing in your love life. Movements, choices, and decisions, like I said. Everything, everything. Like, you know, you know how they be like, what would Jesus do? No, they're like, what would Aquarius do in the situation? How would Aquarius handle this? What would Aquarius say? But this is somebody who's suffering in silence here because they can't be themselves. I'm getting like, you could get a lot of attention. You could have a lot of love offers. Or if you're already in a loving connection with somebody, it's giving the movie Obsessed by Beyonce and um, Idris Elba. But... If you already have that one of them type of situations going on and motherfuckers just like eating you up, they love your energy, they love your vibe, whatever it is. Whoever this motherfucker is, they're trying to literally transform or morph into another version of you because they feel like if this person is getting a lot of love, this person has got lovers, they got hoes, or you know, they're in a loving, committed relationship, or if you're single and you have a lot of suitors or um, whatever it is, like I said, I want my shit to be fertile. I want my eggs cracked. I want to be pregnant. I want to be down. Like, I want to be down with you. I want to be down. I just heard that song. Wow. I want to be down with you. Like, they want to be down, too. They want to be cool, too. They want to be, like, a hot commodity. They want to be, like, a bachelor or bachelorette. Or they want to be, like, seen as in the light that you're seeing it, right? And like I said, people have been noticing this because this person, like, certain colors that look good on you, they wear them. Certain hairstyles you get, this person get them. Certain colors, hair colors you get, they get them. Certain places you shop, or different things that you're into, interested into, whether it be, like, spirituality or taxidermy or whatever different hobbies and shit that you like here will make you uniquely you. Um, this person is trying to pick these up. Specifically tarot. They may pick up tarot. They don't pick up tarot cards. They can pick up spirituality or crystals or makeup or self-care or hair or, um... Other shit that you like to do, okay? And like I said, but they're only doing it here because people could be, like, materially... or Like, you could be material or spiritually prosperous or both. And what's going on is that people could be giving you gifts, buying you flowers, doing this, doing that for you. Or this could be, like, something that you want or something that's, like, a no, a no question, you know, type of shit. And this person's tired of getting hurt or they don't want to get hurt. So, they rather do all this shit here and sacrifice themselves... So they can somehow be in balance or, you know, be on your wavelength here to receive what you're receiving. Yeah, like I said, harmony. And for some of you guys, yeah, this motherfucker may even trying to take your man, take your lady. Or take motherfuckers who are interested in you. Because like, well, they already got somebody. Or like, who the decoy is, they just... It's giving energy. Like, if you fuck with somebody before... This is very specific for somebody out there. Not all of y'all. If you have fucked with somebody before or like you have a history with somebody, maybe you dated them. Like, me personally... I'm not the type of bitch who be like, yeah, I used to fuck with him. Yeah, I used to fuck with her. Because, bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't know them. I, I'm quick telling my fuck I don't know them. And this is somebody who, like, if they know you have a history with somebody, you dated somebody, you were sneaky link with them, you fucked them before, whatever you went on a date with them. This is motherfuckers who, like, their goal is to, sorry, I'm my nose drinking itching, to somehow get them or date them. It's, like, weird as fuck, but it don't never work out. Or, like, this situation is not supposed to be going that way, like... I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. Like I said, this person here, this is a special lesson that they have to learn to be themselves. But like I said, this person want to be like you so bad. Your spiritual team or, you know, the universe is about to go ahead and make them bear the cross to be the boss. They finna go through all the lessons, all the hardships, all the burdens, heartbreak, and all the shit that you went through before just because this person want to be you. Spirit of the key. Like I said, this is a, so this is going, this is going to be the solution because they don't have the wisdom and they also want your wisdom, but this is going to be how they gonna learn their spiritual lesson? Like I said, they at a crossroads, so you better stop while you ahead. They've already been warned to stop what they're doing here. Like other people know what they're doing here, and people are looking at them like, look at this poor miserable soul. People are looking at this motherfucker here like you're longing to be cool so bad, to be down so bad. Like what? Yeah, masculine spirit. There could be like a masculine in your energy here who's wanting to do this. Or for some of you guys, I've had this happen to me before as well. This could be like if you're feminine, this could be like a masculine trying to steal your soul, steal your drip. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, this is a, this is a test. This is the offer. This is the temptation to either 
they don't even see what the fuck is going on, but they so finna realize, they finna recognize. Because like I said, you could be moving on and you're at a distance from this person, or it's just kind of like, this little, this person could also be doing glamour spells or magic spells and to make you look less attractive so they can like steal from you or like do a mirror magic and shit. But everything they're doing is temporary because they think they finna get a soulmate, a divine counterpart, maybe even your motherfucking soulmate. <laughs> Or one of your feminines or one of your masculines. And that's not really how it's going to work. But, like I said, they think that they got a plan. They think they got everybody eating out their hand. So, we just going to let them do what they do. What they do. Okay? You can recently heard a French Montana song. You know how French Montana be like, huh? Like, yeah. Oh, God. This is just so funny to me. But, like I said, overall, for both sides of the collective, um, motherfuckers just admiring your drip, admiring who you are. And they just want to be like you. That's all. I'm hearing that song Fresh and Clean by Outkast. So fresh is still clean, clean. Like, you know, ain't nobody gonna ask me. I trip so fresh and clean. I'm hearing that song. So fresh is still clean, clean. Like I said, motherfuckers is small type of way. Let's get a mutual energy for both of you guys. Um, Yeah. Yeah, Aquarius placements. Like I said, this person could be another Aquarius or this person wants to be an Aquarius, literally. <laughs> Okay, but at the bottom of the deck, we have a disruption. Like I said, this person's an energetic disruption. For some of you guys, this person's acting as if a secret... In they're acting like a secret informant. and Or they could be like a secret informant around you. Like, they either... They coming around you, acting one way, and steal all your drip, and they come back and, and put that shit on. Put that drip on. Like, okay. <laughs> and for others of you, they could have like a third party attached to who's coming in and showing you this. Or they could use like a third party viewing service to watch you. Or do whatever needs to do so they can somehow be, you know, chosen, a spiritual, whatever it is. Or get a divine union and it's not going to happen. Like, or even just get a new lover, anything. Yeah, choose wisely. They've been warned. But, um, child. Ooh, this is ghetto. This is ghetto as fuck. Very ghetto, very country. It's giving high heels and mud vibes. I don't know what that's about. Like, you know how you go to a country cookout and somebody have a high heel? Yeah. But next move, not a wise. I just feel like y'all need to be guarded, okay? Make sure you're protecting your energy. Make sure you're um, spiritually protecting yourself as well, specifically your crown chakra, but ace of cups. Um, this person will try to reach out to you or you again. You're going to know who they is. So they're either going to reach out, somehow give you some type of ace of cups or help or security or evidence. But I feel like this person could definitely be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, or a Leo. Is it, yeah, heavy on the Cancer. But, yeah, these are the motherfuckers who's doing all this weird shit. Yeah, seven is sword. It's weird as fuck. These are literally the signs. Uh, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, or a Leo, or an, another Aquarius. This is who it is. So, now that you know, kind of just act accordingly, boo. Okay? There's nothing for you to really do. You know what's going to happen to both of them. You just really got to sit back, relax, and do what you do. Because King of Swords, you may be in this cold shoulder energy. Or oh, I'm getting your ice cold. Seven of Pentacles. You're just waiting for, you're waiting for your award and waiting for shit to hit the fan. Four of Swords and waiting for this motherfucker to be sat down. Because Page of Wands, motherfucker is traveling towards you, stalking you. Being a secret informant, they real obsessed. And it's giving weird. And they think you're finna, finna be a King of Wands. Because they a page. Yeah, star card at the top of the deck. Like I said, you're the motherfucking star. And this motherfucker, somebody could also be a Scorpio. I'm getting heavy water sign vibes, like every water sign specifically. But yeah, motherfucker, you can't transform. Because I can like one thing about Aquarius, you heal yourself and you heal other people. Scorpios, they don't heal people. They're just um, very primal in nature. They're all about power and like all that weird shit. They don't have the ability to heal themselves. They just have the ability to see the human race in, a, in the most primal or um, disgusting nature possible. That's why a lot of people who are Scorpios or, I know this is off topic, a lot of people who are Scorpios go through the worst or they've seen the worst or I'm getting the worst that um, humans could do or become. All right. So this was the reading. I hope you guys did love it and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye.